Good afternoon, Tomcat Nation, and welcome to this semester's final edition of the Tomcat Report. I'm your host, Jared Wilcox, filling in for Jason Crystal, so let's jump right to it. It was a thriller at Beagley Gymnasium last Saturday for the Tomcats as they took the Bethany Bison into overtime off a huge three-pointer from freshman forward Clandell Seatoot. Seatoot took the three-pointer with just under seven seconds left in the game. It took a lucky bounce around the rim and finally dropped in to tie the game. Four Tomcats, including senior Eric Malinger, recorded a double-double. The Tomcats went on to win that game in overtime by a final score of 76-69. to In other news from the hardwood, men's basketball was in a close matchup with Division I Youngstown State on Sunday in a game that aired on ESPN3. Although the Tomcats lost, it was a close throughout the majority of the game. Teal Wrestling was in action over the weekend in the RIT Invitational. At the Invitational, five Tomcats placed in their respective weight classes. Brandon Collins placed second in the 165-pound bracket. Nick Sutton placed third in the 149-pound bracket. Gerald Rusa placed third in the 184-pound bracket. Sean Byam placed fourth in the 157-pound bracket. And Taylor Wilkes placed sixth at the 174-pound bracket. Collins was also voted PAC Wrestler of the Week. Congrats, Brandon Collins. Nick Jones tied with a Division I jumper from Youngstown State to finish in a first-place tie at the YSU Icebreaker Invitational. Jones tied the Division I jumper with a jump of 6 feet 8 inches. Jones also got the voting for PAC Men's Field Athlete of the Week. Congrats, Nick. To wrap up this Tomcat report, we would like to inform Tomcat Nation to stay glued to the computers over Christmas break as our Sports Information Department will be conducting a Top 14 in 2014 countdown that will begin December 18th and finish up on New Year's Eve. So be on the lookout for that. So for the final time in 2014, thank you Tomcat fans for tuning in to our Tomcat reports. We hope to come back in the spring for more exciting news from Tomcat Sports. So from all of us here at TO Athletics, have a safe and happy holiday season. And remember, go Tomcats.